hats off to Donna and uh, Houston Christian because I knew they would come in and, you know, eventually they play all these top schools every single year and they know going in that at some point we'll get a chance and we can get momentum swaying and all kind of things or start to make some shots and it eventually start to happen for them. And that's the thing with us. We have to understand it's a sense of urgency no matter who you play, especially when you're on three. And you're playing across team, across town rival team. You know, I don't think Houston Christian had ever been a rival for us, but that's what it felt like today. Um, but I'm happy our kids understood that it was a dog fight down the stretch and, and did everything necessary for us to be able to win the basketball game. You know, one thing I'm proud of is Aaliyah Love sticking with it. Um, she ended up making some shots down the stretch and doing what she needed to do to be able to carry us on. Um, still got Layla trying to work her way through concussion stuff and get in some shape so she can be able to play some. And uh, Gigi was just a little off today, so we were trying to figure out her. So, uh, again, we still got five kids. That's, this is their first time playing together, so we're trying to figure it out on that end. Um, and Leilani coming up huge with, with rebounds and um get to the free throw line and I was happy about the free throws, the 14 for 17 for the game because we put a lot of time into it because again, a lot of games, a lot of dog fights are going to come down to free throws, but I'm really, really proud of this team and thankful to the man above to get the win so we can start to, to really uh, get ourselves going. Coach, first, first win of the season, is it a relief to get the, the first dub? Very much so. Very much so. It's, um, you feel like you're playing checkers and everybody else playing chess because you don't have the major pieces. And so now you're trying to figure it out. So it is definitely a relief to be, relief to be able to get the first one. And we saw, we got one on our belt. We know what it feels like. Now you can teach through winning. Because teaching through losing is really, really good as well. But it's a little bit better when you can teach through a win. Did you get a sense in the in the uh, fourth quarter that the players kind of felt the pressure? Of so course. Those shots? Of course, that's why. You know, we're coming down, it's uncharacteristic of Layla Blair to throw a ball with somebody head coming down in transition and not look to attack and shoot it. But again, she's trying to figure it out now with the new players and all of us are coming back. Should I shoot it? Should I not shoot it? Those kind of things. Um, but yeah, they, they felt it as well. Um, the thing that I was excited about them is in the timeouts. They were talking just as loud as I was. So that's the thing that I really love. Now they're starting to understand the communication part that we got to have so everybody can be on the same page um, and go out and be able to fight with the same kind of energy. With so many injuries, how challenging has it been thus, thus far this season? Very challenging. But, again, my high school coach, Tim Gates, after I Ava, um Hurt herself in the game, and he called me and he said, you know, she might have her Achilles going, all that stuff. And I said, yeah, we'll find out tomorrow. And then uh, before I could say anything else, he said, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Prepare your team, keep going. What are your non-negotiables? And he started running me through all this stuff. And you know, how are you gonna bounce back from this? And how are you gonna question? And you know, again, he's trying to snap me out of it. And so that's what I'm trying to do with them. And so the other part of it is uh, Ashley. Um, Turned her ankle in practice, and now everybody's on high alert, another injury. So that's how they are right now. You know, as soon as we start going and somebody gets something in this, oh, man, what if I get this? What if I get this? So, again, we're battling, we're battling that, too, with so many injuries, and that happens. So, but it's very tough. It's very tough every day. But the thing that we're going to do, just like a cougar, every single day we're coming out, we're going to battle. And like I told them at the end of the game, I say I'll take the timeouts home because you're capable of winning this game without me having to call timeouts and run plays and all this kind of stuff. Because you're ten times better on paper. You just gotta to come together pound for pound and play together. We over me, not individual. Until we learn that, we're gonna we're gonna struggle through some. And then what's Ashley's status when she be on the court? Um, she did a light practice the last two days and so um I think another day off with on Monday we're off. She'll be able to work through some more rehab stuff. I think we'll have her for the next game. So Tuesday she'll be in full practice and be able to go and we'll have her for the next game because she's a catalyst for us out there. Um just with us getting us into stuff. There's no question of what we need to run, how we need to run it, and things like that. GG is more of a scorer that we're trying to put up there to be able to do that. And she's trying her best, and I appreciate everything she's doing. And, again, Layla's trying to work herself through it, so I don't want to put her up there. So, again, we're trying to flip-flop between the two of them. But they're doing a great job of what we ask them to do. It's just, you know, it's going to take some time to be able to get there.